Today we blow some dust off of a long forgotten video. I know everyone watching this video has seen it before and for good reason. It is downright fucking hilarious. This is a video where everything falls into place perfectly. We got t three willing participants behind the counter or in front of the counter rather and then our pro antagonist, I guess we would call him, is an absolute madman who is really in the shits. You could hear the pain in this man's voice. Let's take a look. Why is that okay? The great, why is it okay for women to say, oh, you're five feet on dating sites? You should be dead. That's okay? Who said that to you here? Nobody. The women in general have said it on dating sites. You think I'm making that shit up? And we've already got the origin story for his rage. Apparently, his, his rage is, is induced, is fueled, is infused. By women on dating sites saying that he's five foot and that he should be dead. Not that he should be dead, but because he should be dead because he's only five foot tall. Which is very fucked up and very hilarious. Everywhere I go, I get the same fucking smirk with the biting lip. Shut your mouth. You're not God or my father or my boss. Or my boss. Dude, you wanna step outside? You wanna step outside? Huh? I'm not standing, pal! So here he chest bumps him and accidentally gives him a blow drop at the same time. Now keep this in mind for further in the video where he chest bumps him and says, I'm not afraid of you, pal. This dude is, is suffers from small man syndrome. He's four foot four and he acts like he, he's fucking Ganondorf. He acts like he's some evil sorcerer that is scared of no man. When he has every single reason to be, he can't defend himself. What's he going to do? Create some cosmic explosion that is going to destroy every man in the vicinity? I mean, what could he possibly do to anybody? A four foot four motherfucker in a striped shirt is nothing to be afraid of. You shut up, too. Shut the fuck up. Go ahead and attack me, Oh my god. Oh my god. Now there's two things you cannot do, you cannot and should not. One, put pineapples on pizza, and two, let a guy with a bald spot beat your ass. And that's exactly what happened to this guy. He didn't even put up a fight whatsoever, he just collapsed to the floor at the slightest gust of wind that may or may not have been a push. And uh, he complains about it in a second. I just wanted bagels. I just wanted bagels. I recorded the whole thing. Yo, I love the laugh the girl behind the counter makes when this guy pays for his food, decides not to take it, and then she just starts fucking cackling like a hyena. And he just turns around pissed, lost for words. And then before that, he's, he's mad at the people for letting a guy three times his size, so somebody who's almost six foot uh, beat the brakes off of him, quote unquote. Uh, I mean, he, he, all he did was get pushed and then had his back taken. And that, that was, I like how he's looking at the people who are like run this like bagel shop to like look out for him and like provide security when it looks like it's all chicks. And then he's like, you guys let someone that's almost six foot beat the brakes off of me. I just love this video, and I don't know what's so important about this uh, <clears throat> bakery or whatever this place is, but um, I don't know. I just, everything, this is a hard video to replicate, and this video is probably, what, three years old, two, three years old now, and uh, it's it's hard. I mean, the, the most recent thing to surface as well as this and be just really perfect is the Twisted T video that everybody has seen. Um, but it's just where you got someone with the personality that fits it in the, in the videos. And I don't even know what the fuck started this. He made it seem like just somebody behind the counter, like, laughing a little bit, like, biting their lip, uh, like, started this entire thing. And he got pissed and immediately, immediately his, his small, man, um, small man syndrome took over. And he accused her of laughing just because he was short. Because clearly he's been dealing with women who do not find interest in him because of that. But for people watching this video, people really don't care if you're short in the real world. Like, no one, like, being short isn't necessarily funny. Like, I, I couldn't see someone just laughing at somebody because they're short. Like that. Especially someone who's, like, representing a company. 
So I, I doubt that's the reason why, but um, you know, and when you're that insecure about it, she could have been fucking laughing at anything, and he would have thought that someone could have been la- laughing four blocks away, and he would immediately walk over to him and, and start yelling at them about how women on dating sites have fucking rejected him, told him to die. just sitting here enjoying his bagel throughout the chaos of this video nobody cares like this dude can't even see over the countertops like how do you expect someone to be afraid of you in a striped shirt ankle socks and you can't see over the countertop and this dude was five foot four and he and he he dressed like and he was dressed by anybody else other than his mother there would be some you know some heart rates in the in the in this bagel shop that would rise but no one is afraid of this dude. It's quite demoralizing to watch. It actually destroys my manhood. My manhood is on its last legs because of how much this man was disrespected. Nobody cared. If this dude had a beard and was five foot seven, uh, there'd be someone in here that, like, you know, kind of, you know, looks, you know, turns their neck and is like, yo, I think maybe we should call the police. But no one cared enough to. Like, if someone was like, we should call the police, they're like, don't even, don't even fucking worry about it. A mall cop wouldn't even come to serve this dude. Fucking love this video.